Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to a big beer review. We have, it is a big beer review. We have uh, acquired a beer from Sierra Nevada. Now, I haven't had a Sierra Nevada beer. It feels like for ages. I was a massive fan of their pale ale. Uh, when I first started this channel, I... Uh, was one of the beers which really I really loved and I used to get it all the time uh, the parallel big fan of it and you know they've had a few supermarket releases over the years Nuna Pilsner uh, was uh, if I'm ever stood out and obviously the Torpedo I managed to pick up um, and I've had the hop is it hop Hoptimism something like that it was a banger of a beer Anyway, I'm waffling on and reminiscing. We're talking about this one now. We have acquired the, I'll show the can, the Atomic Torpedo Imperial IPA. Clocking in at 9.2%. A real lightweight, sessionable beer. <laughs> this was, I uh, got the price, £6.50 from uh, Trembling Madness in York. Um, if you go to a bottle shop, I think they will charge you about a tenner for it. Uh, this is a one-point can. As you can see, it's a big one. Uh, so I've brought up, please forgive me, but I had to bring up the Sierra Nevada website about this beer. So I'll just get my glasses on. I'm not going to read you a sermon because you want to know if this beer is any good. But I'm just going to read, read you some highlights from the website because I'm not familiar with it. I'm familiar with the torpedo. The torpedo uh, was a beer named after one of their vessels, which was shaped as a torpedo. Um, and it was briefly available in Tesco's and that's how I got it. Uh, I don't think it's there now. Um, this was actually first released as a double IPA at 8.2. Then they ramped it up to 9.2 for bigger, bolder, imperial IPA intensity. Um, it's got the IBUs. I'll give you the IBUs. The IBUs are 42. The malts are honey, two-row pale. The hops are Cascade, Centennial, Magnum and Mosaic. Great lineup of hops. They say with Torpedo, it's all about maximising every hop for the biggest, boldest flavour possible so we push dry hopping to its limits with the hop top torpedo a custom invention that's shaped like a projectile namesake um, each tor torpedo holds roughly 75 pounds of whole cone ho hops filled by hand more accurately jam-packed in dust using industrial tampers beer flows out of fermenter surges through the hop torpedo and back into the tank for supercharged IPAs. So that's what they're saying. So it's named after one of their inventions. I think this is going to go off in me like a bomb. <laughs> so let's crack it open. I'm looking forward to this. This is, I suppose, you know, one of these beers which I'm never going to forget. Um, let's get it with. There's a big citrus intensity to the aroma with a hint of dankness hiding behind it. It doesn't smell strong. This is 9.2, so let's pour it out like you do. Um, like I say, Sierra Nevada, for me, a little bit like stone in a way. They are game changers uh, in regard to American beer. They are, you know, one of the big boys. Um, I'm a massive fan, fan of Stone, especially the IPA, if you've seen the review. <laughs> so, coming to this, as you can see, um, it pours dark, amber, slight haziness to this, loads of carbonation. This beer is going to take me a while to drink, most probably, um, but we'll persevere with it. So... For six fifty, being American import, I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. So let's get a whiff. 
tank. It's all a rotten fruit in a way. With a hint of tangerine. Well, I'm going to go in. Cheers, everyone. It's heavy. <laughs> it feels heavy. First of all, it feels heavy. I was bracing myself for alcohol burn, hot burn, if you want to call it hot burn. I was bracing myself for something, you know, to go <laughs> and boom at the moment. What does it taste like? It feels heavy in density it feels like um it's not bitter it's, it, it, there is a bitterness but it's not that bitter you get slight hint of dark fruits and you get hints of tangerines lemon but it doesn't feel you know it doesn't feel that strong at the moment, but I think as we go in, <laughs> it might, uh, might turn itself. Let's go in again. As you go in, you're getting flavours of orange rind. When you swallow it, it just feels so heavy. It feels like someone's tying bricks to my neck and legs and just throw me into the bloody river it feels really heavy but it's actually very nice um having a beer this this strong does it diminish hot flavors it, it does to a degree for me um you know when I looked at it, I thought, you know, the way it's advertised, Imperial IPA, great big hops, the cones on the can, and everything. you think to yourself, this is going to be overtly bitter, it's going to be full on. It doesn't feel full on to me. It just feels dense and thick and heavy. Um, again, again. On the front end, nice notes of orange. Lemon, tangerine, nectarine, that type of thing. Towards the back end, there is a pine bitterness. But it's not prevalent for me because I think for me that pine bitterness is hampered in by the density of the beer. The, ten the, the heaviness of it all is, you know, keeping that bitterness down. Do I like it? I actually do like it because it could be, you know, beers at this ABV uh, by brewers not as skilled, most probably, as, as, as Sierra Nevada. You know, I've had beers at 9.2, IPAs at 9.2, which have been absolutely terrible. This isn't a terrible beer. I think they've controlled, they've controlled it and kept it controlled and produce something which is very drinkable, heavy, but enjoyable. You know, they've got a lovely, lovely orange skin, orange wine skin, just coming out in aromas and in taste as you drink it. It's lovely, um, the way they pulled that off. Um, am, I, am I glad I bought it? Yes, I am. But I think it's, you know, 650. You can taste what's gone in it. You can taste um, how they've done it. Um, as I'm drinking it, you can feel like something's going to explode and weigh you down. Um, yeah, it's it's a good beer. Would I buy it again? 
if I can get it at six pound fifty again, I would. I think I would buy that again. Um, the original torpedo, if I remember when I had it, was a full-bodied beer. Wasn't that bitter? And this is the same. It's full-bodied, not that bitter, but it's you know the way they brewed it. It's made it so drinkable uh, for what it is. Um, one more for the road, and I'm going to sit back, enjoy it, and fall asleep after this one. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, mouthfeel-wise, slick. It's got a slick mouthfeel. And as you go in, there is the pine bitterness does start to come, you know, come alive, if you want to call it that. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's starting to twist and turn slightly as I go in. Um, I'm going again. What I like about this beer the most is that mouthfeel. It's smooth, slick, doesn't give an inkling of its strength in the mouthfeel. There's nothing nasty about it, which is great. It's just, you know, the body, the density of it all. Um, I like it. I like it. Um, and I think I would buy it again. Definitely, I've got another another big one from Sierra to do. <laughs> I'm struggling with my words. <laughs> I've got another one from Sierra Nevada to do. I'll do that maybe next week. Another IPA, another big one from them. For me, I'm so glad I picked it up. It's a great beer. It is a good beer. Um, very well crafted. A 9.2 has the drinkability, what, what you want. And um, that's what, all that matters, isn't it? And it does make your mouth start to, it makes your brain think that you said something, but you haven't. That's called getting pissed, boys and girls. Atomic Torpedo, uh, see, I've done it again. Atomic Torpedo, <laughs> Torpedo Imperial IPA from the fantastic Sierra Nevada Brewery. Clocking in at 9.2%. JB, one for the row, because he might as well, because he wasted 12 minutes of everybody's lives. Gets a massive thumbs up for me. They are a fantastic brewery. And that, my friends, is a banger. Finished it. There you go. Um, thank you so much for watching this review. Please subscribe. Murder me in the comments. Murder me in the comments. <laughs> if you want. Um, kiss it and a big bib bib for me. Cheers, everyone.